hey guys thank you for hitting that thumbnail and decided to watch my video i'm completely humbled by it i really appreciate you guys coming and checking out my channel while you're here don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and also join the channel it's very inexpensive to do so everything you give or if you hit the super thanks button and you give that way as well it only helps keeps the light on keeps me creating content for you guys that you guys can learn uh, from and impart upon your linux adventure i hope you enjoy the video stay tuned for the next one thanks so much So today we are going to take a look at a subscriber requested and recommended OS called Regatta OS. It was a request that was given to me back when I did my Novara versus Big Linux because somebody wanted me to review and compare Big Linux to Novara. And uh, if you haven't seen that video, go go find it in my videos and take a look for it. And I'll also put it in a in a card up above. Uh, but I gotta tell you, today's video of Regatta OS, it is something else. Uh, Regatta OS is definitely a contender to rival Nobara, no doubt. Uh, we are going to go ahead and we're gonna take a look into and just dive right on into it. All right, here is Regatta OS. You go to regattaos.com and you can find uh, Regatta OS there for download. And you can definitely, you know, peruse its uh, features there. A uh, couple of the key features that I would like to really point out is why it's so game centric. One, it comes installed, it comes with Wine installed, it comes with. Uh, all of the gaming packages installed uh, right down to um, support for hybrid video graphics cards uh, right here. Um, if you are a NVIDIA user or AMD, uh, whichever one, but either way, if you're an NVIDIA user and you're using a laptop for gaming, of course, well, with this right here, you can click and if you look over here, uh, dog on it. Max Q. Let's go ahead and open that up real quick before we uh, take a look at anything else. So this is the 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 application that is installed right out of the box to support hybrid gaming, and right here you can actually test your dedicated GPU, enable desktop effects. You can do your screen settings right here, uh, which is you know for setting up your displays and all that good stuff, as well as if you go into the performance tab. You can check out your CPU usage, your VRAM usage, your actual GPU usage as well, um, your RAM as well. I mean, it is pretty, pretty. Okay, I don't. I'm just gonna say it, it's pretty badass. I mean, it, it's it's completely set up to help you with that out of the box. So it, it talks about that. But then another thing, it's got game mode already where you can turn it on, turn it off, and FSR already um, installed for the AMD. Uh, so I mean. It's pretty cool. Uh, now, if you look at their web page, you go here. You go at the top here. You go over here to the features, right? You can go to the Meet Regatta OS. All right? Why are you not going? Let's go. Hang on. All right, let's go to Meet Regatta OS. You're going to do this to me again. There we go. Get to know some of the main features of Regatta OS and know what you can do and how you can be even more productive. Well, they've curated according to them they separated the best apps for you so whether you're gaming or whatever the, the best apps are available in their store uh in the regatta store um also you could access cloud files right out of the bat they have support for um syncing they have support for vulcan and game mode and fsr already enabled uh for you there uh and then oops sorry and um, they also have um, Regatta Game Access. Now we're going to take a look at that. That that application that they've created is a, is pretty awesome. And then um, it's never been easier to set up, you know, notebooks with hybrid graphics to make life easier for use with your hybrid graphics and notebooks. Regatta OS already runs some of 
the applications with the dedicated GPU by default on AMD and NVIDIA laptops, which is very useful for both software that needs the full power of hardware and work to work well. So, I mean, they've already got it set up for you in the background. That's, of course, the Max-Q, which we already talked about, where you can turn it on and off uh, to do that once you have them. If you are on a hybrid laptop or, yeah, hybrid laptop, uh, you can transfer fires using... Uh, KDE Connect, and then they have accelerated video um, encoding uh, already set up with, because it uses the latest FFmpeg uh, technology, so uh, it's already built into that as well. So, I mean, they've kind of set it up for you right off the bat. Now, if you go to the FAQ or to the QA, Q&A, sorry, why? This is jumpy. I don't know. Uh, can I do everything with Regatta OS? Uh, let's click on that can I do? yes with regato s app store you can easily install apps that you need to work and play now they're not saying that you can do everything that windows can do or mac os can do because those apps do not run natively here they're talking about free and open source software or even proprietary linux proprietary software that is available out there and in the store it tells you what is free and what's not free by the way so you can decide whether you want to stay dedicated to FOSS or if you want to just go ahead and muddy yourself with some proprietary software. But, yeah, you can even get DaVinci Resolve to work on here. So, I mean, they've got, they've got it all set up for you that way. Um, can you use Microsoft Office on Regatta OS? Regatta OS works with Microsoft Office Online. Where the Word, Excel, PowerPoint, or OneNote, you, you can easily find the apps on the web. So that they're, they're not telling you that you can install MS Office on here and get it to work. Uh, although you do have Wine Tricks installed, and also you can get Play on Linux installed on here. Um, and it might be hit and miss. So, Is Regatta OS safe? Yes, Regatta OS is based on Linux. By the way, it's based on OpenSUSE. And... Uh, each element of the operating system can be independently audited, monitored, and secured, uh, thanks to the modular nature of Linux. The system has built-in modules and tools to help uh, improve security, blocking, monitoring, reporting, and troubleshooting. And by that, what they're talking about is um, they have firewall built in and stuff like that. So uh, for download, this is where you click to go download Regatta OS, the 22.1. Uh, it requires a 2 gigahertz dual core processor, 4 gigs of RAM, and 25 gigabytes of free space because it is a large, larger OS. It's got a lot built into it, much like Nobara. Now, what I will tell you is on my virtual machine, I gave it 10 gigs of RAM and 6 cores because the installer under 4 with 4 gigs of RAM and 4 uh, cores of my processor was took a while it was slow and so i, I kind of threw more 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 resources at it in order to beef it up and it flies well and besides if you're on a lower spec laptop and you're trying to run this os and do some of the gaming that is available for this you're not going to have a very positive experience at all to be honest with you so this Unfortunately, it's one of those OSs that I cannot truly recommend for low-spec hardware. Not at all. Um, it, it's going to require medium to high-spec hardware for you to have a much more enjoyable uh, experience with this. So, understand that even though it does say these are the minimum requirements, um, you might want to throw a little bit more at it if you have it. So, uh, otherwise, enjoy what you can with it, but it's... Probably going to give you a little, uh, a little fits. Um, so uh, anyhow, that is basically a look at the web page where you can get it and a review of some of the the stuff that's already baked in. Uh, that's the goodness. Now, just a quick overview. I haven't really played any games on it. Haven't done any of that. I think I'm going to definitely uh, use this and actually play some games on it. Get some gameplay on it. And, you know, download those videos and stuff like that and see how it works and how it how it does and kind of, you know, put that out there for you guys to see, uh, make some videos out of it. So it'll be a, a couple part series. So this will be video one of that part of the of the Regatta OS, you know, test drive, uh, because this one is definitely like Nobara um, and definitely, you know, compares to it and is uh, you could 
switch them either out for whichever one. Uh, this does have the KDE version that I've downloaded, as you can see by by the desktop. You know, um, typical KDE icons on on the uh, on the desktop. Uh, you have your your panel at the bottom with your uh, app launcher and your pinned. Uh, apps right here to, to your left or to your right of your app launcher and then you got your system tray over here on the right hand side now with your system tray you have you know of course your hidden you know icons in there as well your hidden tasks as well like power management discs and devices and also your notifications clipboard all that good stuff then you have your notifications right here which we have no updates oh yes i did uh, i installed it and i updated it and then i installed the just playing with it for a minute the ea app which we'll take a look at in the game access app which is pretty awesome uh, as far as the date and time is right here and then of course you can minimize all windows right there standard kde you know desktop environment uh if you go here of course you've got under your owl applications right here then under development you've got kate for games that it already comes with regatta os game access and steam installed out of the box for graphics, it's got your standard uh, KDE suite of tools. That's Gwenview, Ocular, and Scanlight. For internet, you've got Firefox, KDE suite of tools of Connect, the Regatta Store, which we'll take a look at in a little bit. For multimedia, you have Pavu Control and also VLC. For Office, it does not come with any Office suites whatsoever installed. The most it has is a dock viewer and, of course, your your printer so you can configure any printers that you have in, you know, in, on your network or connected to your machine for settings it's your standard settings like i told you they have firewall installed max q which we'll take a look at again real briefly is your hybrid graphics um tuning uh so to speak if you have any um games in your or applications installed they'll be here and you could toggle it to use your actual dedicated gpu or your other gpu as well but you know i don't have anything installed that, that i can flip that with and uh, like I said, it's just fresh install, so nothing like that. So if we take a look at it, and we'll go ahead and look at the settings. These are the settings right here that we come up to with your screen settings right here. Like I opened up before, it takes you to your displays. And then you can test your dedicated GPU. You can test it with OpenGL, or you can test it with Vulkan, right? And then, of course, you can do enable desktop effects or disable desktop effects, whichever one you want to do. You can lock widgets. Uh, you can actually um, do for high-performance CPU. You can toggle that on, and you can prevent screen tearing right here. Uh, for performance, of course, we showed you that earlier where you could see the GPU usage, your CPU usage, your VRAM as you're using it, okay? And then for your system, you can you know check out your graphic chipset, your memory, uh operational system i mean it's got all your information on there so i mean that's the max q now um for uh your uh windows programs you can you know like i said it's got wine tricks already installed uh part of open is yast and it has yast installed as well which is yet another software tool um also what's kind of cool is it's got steam controller configuration already built into it so it, it's wanting to use Steam controllers uh, already set up out of the box, you know. So if you have like an Xbox controller, you're going to have to put in your Xbox drivers and all that good stuff to to get that to work. But it is doable. I, I like that it comes with the controller already set up. Uh, and it has, that's under system, basically you got Dolphin, your file manager, firewall, which is already installed, uh, the KD, K part console, under utilities, you got KWrite, no, notepad, um, you have the hardware information tool, alarm, Kate, uh, just a standard, you know, KDE suite of tools. So that's a look at what's installed. Now, Let's take a look at their uh, software center and then their game access, and then we'll call it a day on this review. Just kind of want to give you an overview, so maybe give you kind of a teaser that you guys can maybe want to install it and test it for yourself. But <clears throat> truth of the fact is their software center, what I like about it, one, uh, any of the other software centers that you open up, and mind you, I did not install the EA app through the software center. No, no, no. It automatically it was like when you install it and set it up and do the update it it populates itself in the background somewhere some way all right away you do not have to wait for it to download the catalog or anything like that from its web where they're being served at so 
I mean, and as you can see, you've got all this stuff right here, you know, for under discover, it's all their featured stuff, which is what it opens to under creative tab. You've got OBS studio, DaVinci resolve, which you can install. Now I'm not, I wonder if it's the actual program or it, like say an app image. Cause I know that they do it that way and it's available on app image. I'm not sure if it's available on a flat pack, but I wonder, and there's no settings to tell. I can't find a settings tab on here anywhere to to, to tell whether or not it's um, enabled or not. But I could devolve, you know, maybe figure that out a little bit later on and, and do a little bit more of a in-depth look at that part. But uh, so you can, like, this has everything, like dark table, raw therapy. And if you notice, like I was saying right here, if you follow the icon right here, under, like, raw therapy, it's free, right? And then over here, like, Pixeluvo, uh, Pix Pixel Levo uh, is trial, so that's going to be proprietary because it's going to want to eventually be a paid app. And so, I mean, you can see what's free and what's not free, which is what I really, really like. Um, for work, uh, this is where all your like WPS Office, Only Office, Libre, Scribus, all that's going to be, you know, available to you. Um, for play, now this is where you're going to run more into your free versus non-free stuff. Uh, see, like, um, perfect. Like uh, Team Fortress 2, all these stuff right here is all free. Robocraft, War Thunder, all these guys, CSGO free, Dota 2, all that stuff right here, right? Now, if you want to go to paid on Steam, it already classifies not free, you know, paid, like Doom, all that good stuff. Uh, manage your peripherals. So here's where you can actually do Anti Micro X, Bottles, Mini Galaxy, Lutris, Heroic, and Steam. So, I mean, they've got all kinds of emulators, too, that you can put on. Uh, so, I mean, it's it, it's really, really, their software store is set up really nice. It's To me, it's a little bit better than most of your average, you know, even though it's categorized like all the other ones, but it's better because it just adds, you know, you know where you're at with, you know, proprietary versus non-proprietary um, and all the different, like, coming from you know like steam or, or from their databases or wherever uh so i mean it's really nice also um they've got for for development they've got android studio which is an emulator for applications where you can create apps for that they got vs code i mean they've got all this stuff you know available to you right here um that you don't really have to go looking for that a lot of people have to usually go looking for of course it's not too hard if you're on arch or you know using the 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 aur i mean it's basically you know doing a search and you can find it but it's it's just right here it's right here now also they've got if you notice they've got um like maria db and mysql right here which uh you know it'd be better if they had apache but i mean you could almost set up a next cloud instance off of it as well so I'm sure you could download the uh, Apache 2 and do that as well. So, I mean, there's lots of lots of cool, cool things that they have here that you can you can just check out. I mean, their app store is pretty awesome. Here's where Play on Linux is right here. Also, they've got NVIDIA drivers right here. You could download the 525 and the 470 for the older graphics. So, I mean, I mean it, it, it's pretty cool what they have. And also, you can see what's already installed, which, as you can see, I don't have a whole lot installed. It's you know, that I've installed. So there, so that's a look at their software store. Now, this is the coup de gras right here, this game access store. This thing is straight up pretty awesome. Um, you can use Battle.net. You can download these games right here and they're already done. Or you can click over here and go to Battle.net battle and see there. So if you have accounts, you can... I'm sure put it on. Um, Battle.net's not installed. If I want to install it, yes, whatever. But, I mean, it, 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 these are ones that they already have that you can just click and install. Not if you already have a Battle.net account, you click on that. You can install the app. You can get your full library there. They got Epic Game Store, which is available, which you can log into the Epic Game Store, so you can actually install it as well. The EA app, which I did install. So if I want to see more at the EA app, I click on it, and it should... Uh, oh, games to play with the EA app right here so these are all games that we could download right here uh it's in, it's it's pretty awesome uh click all games so if you have the ea app or an ea library already they'll be right here under your 
under your games. I mean, it's pretty cool uh, how that works. Now, if we go to Game Access again, so then they got the GOG Galaxy. These are all games that are probably their um, top top played games on their web page. So or on their on their you know server. So this would be games that you could actually install right here, like Witcher Witcher Three. Um, they got Rockstar Launcher available, and they've got Ubisoft Connect too. So I mean, you're completely set up for gaming. Now, uh, that is a quick look, recursory, brief overview, first look at Regatta OS. I'm definitely doing an in-depth review of this, where I'm actually going to break it down into a couple part series, and I'm going to play games on it. I'm actually going to use it and test drive it because I think it's definitely worthy for for the gaming you know community out there to, to actually know about this I mean this is I've seen quite a few other game centric OS's but honestly Nobara OS is the top and I'm here to tell you right now this one is right there with it this also will tell you is a Brazilian based distro um, they, it comes out of Brazil it has lots of Beautiful. I, I love the theme layout. I, I you know that, that it already has the the back. The wallpapers are awesome, which I didn't really look at too much with you guys, but I'll take a look at it real quick. And this is their wallpaper app right here. They've only got like four or five, but what they got are really nice. Like the small optical fiber. We're gonna have to apply that. We're gonna minimize this. I mean, that's nice right there. I mean, see, they got really nice wallpapers. I mean, it's pretty cool what they've curated for it. Um, so anyhow. That is a look at Regatta OS. Guys, if you can, put it in your, in your queue to test drive. Uh, if you're not a gamer, it's equally apt at doing workflow. Uh, it, it's your standard, you know, open SUSE, customized and, 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 you know, set up for gaming. But other than that, it's a pretty rock solid um, distro for, for just using regular workflow. So load it up, spin it up in a virtual machine if you can, or hey, put it on real hardware, give it a test drive, leave a comment down below that you've done it. I'm, I'm asking you guys, please. I'm, I'm, I'm excited for this distribution. I was equally as excited with Nobara as I am with this one. So give it a spin. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below. If you haven't liked and subscribed yet, please do. Uh, also, guys, please join the channel. It helps me out. Uh, I'd really appreciate it a lot if you can. I already have a couple members. It'd be great to add more to the family. Uh, either way, you guys keep doing what you guys do. You guys keep on Linuxing. You guys stay blessed and have a great day. Hi, guys. I'd like to say thanks for watching the video. It really means the world. Uh, but before we go, I'd like to thank my Patreons, Brian Bomarito and Mislav Fresla. They help keep the lights on, and I really, really appreciate them. If you'd like to become a Patreon like them, Visit me over at my Patreon page, the underscore Linux to Linux underscore tube. Help out if you can. Really appreciate you guys taking the time. Thank you so much. Have a great day.